All right, hello YouTube. So today we'll be doing an unboxing of the Mob Psycho 102 uh, limited edition box set that I received in my recent uh, collection update video. I mentioned there that I would do a separate unboxing, so that's what I'm doing today. And uh, so yeah, let's get started. So Mob Psycho is one of those anime, I mean, as the years have gone on, I've heard more great and great things about it. Uh, season one came out a while back, but uh, with this season two, people were just saying that season two was amazing. So kind of got my attention and I definitely want to start watching this one. I already have season one. I just have the standard release of that one. Unfortunately, I didn't get the, or I wasn't buying anime at the time it came out. So I didn't get the limited edition. Uh, but man. Look at that, that's a lot of glue they put there. Let's take this off, hopefully it doesn't damage the box set or anything. Nope, looks like we're good. All right, so here's the front of the box set. So over here, it's just like the regular texture, but then the characters have sort of like the, kind of look like they look a little shinier. I don't know what they call that, like a sticker effect or something. They, they kind of look like stickers, to be honest. But yeah, they're just like a little shiny compared to the to the rest of the box, including this little guy here. So I've never seen one episode of this, so I don't know the names of any of these guys. I'm assuming his name is Mob, but I'm not even sure about that. But yeah, this front box looks pretty cool. I mean. It's not colorful or anything. It just has a few colors on it, but something about it just looks pretty nice. I like it All right, so here's the spine it Just says mob psycho 102 limited edition And unfortunately, there's a few creases on there And then the back has a little bit more colors, but even then it still it has sort of like a comic book um, effect. So this 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 side they use pink, and then there is a bunch of characters. I don't know if any of these are like main characters over here, but I know I've seen this guy and this guy. I haven't seen these two. Yeah, you guys can take a look at that there. Just gonna pan through it quickly. And let's take a look at what's inside. Oh, before we do that, let's take a quick look at this. TV 14. Special features include the OVA. That's cool. TV spot behind the scenes animation. Oh, that'll be interesting to watch. I do like watching those. Um, all right, so it's from the same creator as One Punch Man. I didn't even know that. And I like, I really like One Punch Man. I've seen both of those seasons. I even like the second season. <laughs> So as far as audio goes, you get 5.1, wait, hold on, yeah, 5.1 surround sound, English, so that's good. All right, so now let's go into the box. So I'll put that back there, and we get a booklet, an extras box, and the Blu-ray case. And thankfully, as I mentioned in a previous video, they start they started including the extras box inside of the actual box set. So I do like it when they do that. So let's take a look at the booklet first. All right. So Mob Psycho 102 art book. So it's called an art book. So I guess it just has art in here, but nope, it has some text. So table of contents, anime NYC, mini interview, creating the opening, creator interview, episode titles and screenshots, uh, key visual and teaser image, volume covers, and Japanese artwork. So 36 pages, that's quite a bit of pages. So it looks like this is some sort of convention. to a mini interview, creating the opening. So I guess this is like some interviews with the people who, who animate this show. So that's 
interesting. I'd like to see what they have to say. Maybe. All right. Ending creator interview. So they interview the intro and then the ending. All right, so here's the episodes. So let's take a look at that. The animation in this one looks really interesting. Um, can't wait to, to get into this one. I don't know what that thing is there. It just looks like a blob. All right, so, so there's just like um, images of each episode. So I don't know if there'll be any spoilers in here. I hope not, but... We'll take a quick look at these. Episode four. Episode five. So far, I don't think there's any spoilers in here. Or at least nothing that I would know because I don't know any of these characters. So I don't know what any of this would mean. That's a weird one. Episode eight, episode nine. All right, I'm gonna go through the rest of these pretty quick. Ooh, that's, this is where it starts to get a little serious, it looks like. Look at that. Very explosive. All right, here's some of the artwork. There's the front cover. Yeah, I guess they could have used any of these in the, in the box, in the limited edition box set, but uh, here's the back cover. And then that's the final image on here. I don't know what this thing is. I wonder what that is. I'm pretty sure that might have, that's probably a main thing of the anime because I see him in a lot of the places. There he is again. All right. So now let's take a look at the, the extras. So there's a pen, art cards, acrylic phone charm, and embroidered patches. There's that. Like it actually looks kind of like a poop, <laughs> like the poop meme or whatever. Uh, I think he's actually some kind of ghost or something. Uh, so here's the art cards. The first art card is just the same thing that's there on the cover. Oh man, just drop the pen. So here's the pen with Mob Psycho, or Mob. I don't know if his last name is Psycho. I think his name is Mob and he is a Psycho. Uh, here's sort of like a, what is this called? A phone charm. Again, with that little green ghost slash poop. And then here's the embroidered um, patches. That one actually looks pretty nice. All right. Now let's look at the art cards. Hopefully, I have a feeling these art cards are gonna match the art that was in the um, in the art book. But let's take a look. So one, yep, I remember seeing all of these. All right, so, I mean, the images are cool, but as far as art cards go, I mean, I would have preferred maybe it's just some character cards or something. Um, so yeah, but they're all right. I mean, they all, they look really colorful next to each other, pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Last thing we need to get into is the Blu-ray case. So yeah, the Blu-ray case uses this art here on the front and in the back they use this art and in the inside I'm assuming, yep, they use the other ones and that's the last one. Alright, so here are the discs. 
season two. And again, I like the fact that they're using different art on each disc. That is pretty cool. Or I like it when they do that. So there's two Blu-rays and then DVDs, two DVDs as well. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, so as far as box sets go, this one is pretty nice. I mean, I, I do like the box that all this contents come in. Uh, the art book was pretty nice. Uh, the art cards, I mean, they weren't my favorite, but they still look nice. So yeah, overall, I still am pretty happy with this purchase and I'm definitely excited to give this, this series a watch. Uh, but if you guys have seen this, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. And I hope you liked this video. Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.